as eight new mini golfers fight it out for survival in a series of head-to-head -head matchups. The winners then move on to round two. Only the very best there will go on to the final round. But who will be crowned holy moly champion? Winning the plaid jacket, the golden putter, and that spot in the grand final, where they could win $100,000 with a single putt on Greg Norman's top secret, Tomb of Nefertiti. I'm Matchington. And, I'm, and this is Holy Moly. We've got some of Australia's best amateur golfers making their way to the course tonight. So let's get straight to the first round one matchup on Polcano. Thanks, Shervo. I'm here at the foot of Polcano, and here's how it works. Golfers putt up the volcano, aiming for that pole position channel, which will deliver their ball right near the pin. If they miss, they'll end up in the sand hazard or the rough. Then it's a super fast zip line across the lagoon, attempting to grab and hold the giant pole. If they fall in the water, it's a one stroke penalty. Once on the green, it's a putt off for the win. Our players make their way to the tee here on Polcano. It's a real David versus Goliath battle. Tee shot from Gavin Baust hey, makes its on, way into in the lava rocks. Come on, come back, come back. Can come it back. bounce through? It, no, it lands in the hazard. Oh, there it is. That's where he'll take his second putt. He is going to have to dig that out of the sand and progress across the checkered green to the hole. It's a tricky one. Here he comes out on the zip line. Here he goes. Can he hang on? Oh! Ouch! Ouch! Joel Muhammad, 31 years of age, a concreter, steps up to the tee. Joel Muhammad, it comes through, through the middle. Oh. oh, it's gone through the pole position. It's gone through. It's a brilliant result. Yeah. Through to the checkered green. Where is his ball going to land? About six feet away from the hole. It's a good position. There it is. He accelerates into the pole. Can he hang on? Too much heat. Here we go. Joel Muhammad sits on the green. It's a good shot. Wow! What a clutch play. Joel goes through to the second round. Thanks, guys. Let's slide right into this one. It's slip and putt. Our golfers scramble up this steep, slippery slope to find their balls. First one to the top gets the best ball position. Then they putt through the polar bear's legs and down the hill to the hole. Then, quick slide before putting it out on the green. The golf pro from Cairns going up against the AFL coach from Perth. Oh, here they go. You know, it's always fun to watch the learning curve on this. Oh, that's a learning curve. There's not much to figure out. What's the best way to get up? <laughs> Bree has a strategy here. But going slowly doesn't always work because that lube on the front of this mountain can be very slippery. Oh, it's just oh, missed Bree, it. reach out, reach out and grab it. The first to the top gets a better lie to get back down onto the green. Here we go. Look. Oh, nailed it. She's got a hold of it. Wow. Way to go, Michelle Cowan. She's the first to the top. Slow and steady, won that race without a doubt. Well, look at that. Coach Cowan giving her a hand with the rope. Okay, because Bree got up second, she'll have the more difficult tee off. She needs to bounce her ball off the angled blue bumper to get down to the green in one. Bree Webb, she hits the upright and it goes through, going down the mountain. Nice. Very good. And bounces off the backboard and will lie just on the right hand side of the cup. Coach Cowan takes her tee shot from the better spot. Oh, no. and she, oh hang on. It stopped at the top of the mountain. Oh, oh hang no, on, there it goes. Gone. Wow, it it. that was a pressure moment. Uh-oh, watch Here the bounce. Here it goes, bounce off. Oh! oh. 
Just a couple of feet from the hole. Well, here they come, back down the mountain. So Bree has a lucky charm. Can she sink oh. it? No, she just misses. No question about that now. Yeah, well done. She would have had to have gone blind and... And she does it. Presses through to round two. One step closer to tonight's final round. On putt the plank, he's going to help our golfers by chipping their balls from his ship onto the green. Once the balls are across the water, the golfers have to walk the plank leap onto a circling shark, hide it to the other side without falling in. Then it's an easy putt off for the win. Isn't she ready to go? Now before the hole, Drea won the pre-pirate putt off. So she'll have her ball chipped over first by Dicko, wearing just one eye patch. Give us a... Oh! Oh! She's gonna enjoy putting from there. So Jason lost the putt off. That means dead eye Dicko wears the double eye patch. Oh, far away. Where's it going to end up on the green? Bouncy similar light. Just off to that left hand side. Wow. That, you've got to say, is pole position. Time for the first of you. Walk the plank. Land as close to the middle of that shark as she can. Oh, oh no. Explode yeah, off the edge. Yeah. Oh, oh no. no! Oh! No, just short to the left hand side. Drea cards are four. Yes! Is amazing. Jason Ridge moves one step closer to holy moly glory. Let's get straight to the final round two matchup, and this one's gonna be a sizzler. It's barbecue. Golfers have to putt across the barbecue chook towards the green, then get themselves across the spinning rotisserie, choosing the snag, the corn, or the prawn. If they fall into the burning coals, they get a one-stroke penalty. Oh, she is bringing that Christmas joy. And he's through. Gonna be a hole in one. Wait, oh. it was almost a hole in one. So, so much close. he fell down. Oh, he fell. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Just go. He's on the corner. He slipped a little bit on the rotisserie itself. He's now upside down. It's all about brute strength. He's hanging on, oh. hanging on, hanging on, hanging on. I've seen this technique before. It's going to be the yes. scrape your way across a couple. Of... Oh, that's oh, it. He's gone. it. Now, do it now. Do it now. Putting yes. through the channel. Yes. Bounces off the oh, knife. It's oh, another no. good one. Just, just off to the right hand side. If she commits on the rotisserie, takes the edge well, of the Well, I don't know what that was. We've seen this strategy before, and it hasn't worked out too well, and it may not work out too well for Georgie. What is she? What is she doing? Are you allowed to drag your feet across the hot coals? I, I think that's may have been a question what? anyway. What? She's gone. Simon Rossiter to pile the pressure on Georgie Vinton. Good line, oh, good power. Oh, just oh. Yes, Vinton, the Christmas cracker, completes our round two lineup. All right, our golfers are about to get hot under the collar. It's one of our more dangerous holes, Dragon's Breath. We place our mini golfers in the line of fire, literally. Four dragons deliver the heat as our players putt towards the pin. They're aiming for one of three holes in the drawbridge that will lead to the green. Then the golfers walk across the drawbridge and putt it out for the win. Jason Ridge about to take off on Dragon's Breath. Oh, he's on fire! He can't see, but don't worry. He knows the safe word. Oh no! And 
didn't go well. Light him on fire. Do it again. Yeah. Part for Jason Ridge. No, I can't get it. He's so nonchalant. Is a brilliant shot considering the pressure of being on fire. Surely this has to be the most difficult situation Mr. Mysterious Jason Ridge has ever faced. Now it's Michelle Cowan's turn to face the fire breathing dragons. Oh, here we go! Got speed! what to do what would she be saying right about now oh, oh just short <laughs> coach cowan too good for jason ridge she's gonna head off to the final round and battle it out for the golden putter and the plaid jacket J it's hole number two our colourful cast of holy moly characters take to the Portaloos for a much needed break. Next, our golfers putt along the narrow channel towards the hole before following their golf balls. But they need to sprint because after two and a half seconds, the doors start opening. If they fall in the water, it's a stroke penalty. Voice? John Muhammad and Georgie Vinton are back for round two. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Oh, that's a great line. It's not bad. Well, that's about six foot short of the hole. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. Launch him! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's oh. oh no. This tee shot, critical to go well on hole number two. She threads Oh, here it goes. It's a nice... Oh, nice a, rhythm. Nice. What is going wait, on? Wait, wait, what wait. Oh, hole in one for a second. Go, 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 go Christmas. Go, 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 Christmas. Go. Oh. Both receive a stroke penalty for falling in the water. For his third shot. Oh, oh, Joe, oh he gets a oh, shot. Will there be Christmas this year? Yes, yes, yes there will. How about wow. that? that because they have drawn level, we go into a putt off and we have course marshal Nick come out. He'll place the balls where he sees fit. Both players will putt it out from the exact same position, hoping to carry on in this game. Joel Muhammad, the left-hander, will go first. One of the all-time great battles and he continues. Oh, Lines it up, can she sink it? Average Joel moves on to the final round. Georgie Vinton will head to our distracted duel. She'll have a second chance to make the final. What sort of a distraction is behind this wall? What's going to put them off their putting? Well, here we go. Jason Ridge is going to take the first shot. What is going to distract our golfers this time? Oh! Oh! oh. Holy moly, are taking you to Rio tonight. It's Carnival. <laughs> Do it. Put the distraction to one side. Put the ball in the hole. Oh, this is a tough one. No. Here we go. Georgie Vinton needs to sink this for the win. Oh, just off to the edge. Can he overcome the distraction? Jason Rich, Jason Rich, Jason Rich. Yes. yes. Feeling the rhythm. Georgie Vinton! No! He will take that third and final position in the final round here on Holy Moly. Our golfers have to putt across the bridge onto the green. Then they have to get past these rubber duckies without getting knocked into the suds below. If they do, that's a stroke penalty. Fun fact! First up to the tee. In our final round on Holy Moly tonight, it is Jason Ridge. He needs some power to get right across this channel before he gets off. This looks really good. Oh! 
This looks really good. Really good. Look at this. Oh, wow. yes. What? Oh, oh gosh. Well, average Joel, Joel Mohammed, 31, calls himself average Joel. Average golf has gotten him all the way to the final round, and look at this. Oh, oh no, it just couldn't have. Oh, no. Wow, that is a terrible lie. Although it could get worse, actually, for him. Across here to stay in the mix. Oh, he's trying to time it. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay, he's there. Okay. He's there. Not pretty, but he got across. Okay. Here he oh, goes. Oh. Here he goes. Oh, he's done it. Yes, he's done yeah, it. Yeah, wow. He's done it. Last but not least, Coach Cowan steps up to the tee. If you were her coach, what would you be telling her right oh, about wow. now? Wow, that's a tall order to give a coach uh, coaching advice. Um, it's a duck. Run! Run for your lives! <laughs> Michelle Cowan. Oh, yes. This is looking good. This really good. good. Up the bank. Can it come back oh. for a hole in one? Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> the eagle versus the duck. The duck. Oh no! So this is all a new concept to him. But he has to get it online. Oh, look oh. at this! Oh! Yeah, no! Oh, and that seals his fate. Oh, that has ruined him. That is it. He's out with a fiver. Yeah. Jason Ridge steps up to the tee. Oh, there he goes. He's in for three. And that's done. Now comes Coach Cowan. Ooh. She gets it. We're into a putt off. Horse Marshal Nick setting up the six foot putt, the second putt off for the night. There's his putt. Oh! Here she goes, Michelle Cowan. Can she get it? She got it! Oh, that's she it! Got it's it! It's all over! Well, here comes her goth and Lady Gofina with the holy moly plaid jacket and golden putter. And she's off to the grand final. And the celebrations continue back in the clubhouse, boys, as we get to hang another golfer on our winner's wall. And we'll see you next time on Holy Moly! Good night, Australia. And that was Holy Moly without the fluff. Now, before I proceed any further, it seems I've won a prize, and I just wanted to share that with all of you since you're all part of this. Now, I found this out there. It seems I've won a little something. Uh, there is a note inside. I thought I would share that with you real quick. It says, uh, Dear Gordon, uh, congratulations. You've been selected as a second prize winner in the Art Beyond Countries giveaway. Uh, we hope you keep make, uh, uh, We hope you enjoy this portrait. Bring balance to, in your life. Doesn't make sense. Um, keep making these videos. Uh, thank you for your time, Art Beyond Countries. Cool. So, uh, that's cool. Uh, it is... I'll put that there. It is in here, but it's a bit stuck. Okay. Uh, that's okay. Um, well, it'll be edited out. It's just a painting, so I think that's kind of nice. I guess I will put it on the wall. Well, thank you for sprucing up the spot. Anyways, back to Holy Moly. It's one part Ninja Warrior and one part Mario Golf. And they try and make a mountain out of a molehill. Well, let's see how they deal with this. How does it for? Bam! With a few edits, we're able to get down from 62 minutes and 13 seconds to... 18 minutes and 1 second. We reduced it down to 28.9% of the original size. We have a compression ratio of 3.46 to 1. We cut out 44 minutes and 13 seconds. 2,653 seconds total, or the equivalent of 29.48 moments. By my calculation, you and I could play around no, 1.42 rounds of golf. Only one Logan. Bam! Now imagine every time that you wanted to play mini golf, you had to wrestle a shark. But that's Australia for you. Everything's upside down. I kid. I love. Uh, now, to their credit, they admitted that they are a bit of fluff. I mean, they spent all this extra money on all these different types of cameras that they wanted to include in the game, and the 
cut those, but at least they were honest about that. Uh, it's a fun show to watch, but I think it should be a, maybe a half an hour, 40 minutes, but not this 62 minute things. That seems too long. Cause imagine that with like commercials. Ugh, that's like watching regular golf and I do not enjoy doing that, but um, I hope you do. If you do, I'm not. Yeah. Uh, oh, I hope I saved you some time. Or, and if you liked it, why not tell a friend? Uh, maybe they'll like it too, or at least this condensed version. I have been gored at harvesting time. Now let's see what I can do with it. He's signaling me with his nipples. My secret weapon, I got a pair of lucky undies. I've always had a pair that made me feel like everyone else was playing for second. Wearing my lucky undies, I can't lose. So chook means chicken and snag means sausage. We're laughing because he's about to die. <laughs> God not on his side because he's left-handed. 